Hi, welcome to Padai Planet. So today in this video, we are going to learn something more about trigonometry. And what we are going to understand is that if in a question 10a is given, then how do we find out the value of this particular expression, which is given here? And that is sine a cos c plus cos a sine c, right? So let's quickly start what we have in this video and we will try to understand how do we figure out the value of this particular expression which is given in case tan a is given to us, right? So let's start and here is the question which we have got. It says that if tan a is equal to one upon square root three, then we need to find out the value of this particular expression which is given here. And the expression is that it is, you know, cos a sine c, sine a cos c plus cos a sine c, right? This is what we need to find out. So we can quickly start with this. And as we have already, you know, I've been doing in our previous uh, videos that first we try and focus on this tan a one over square root three. And with the help of this, we'll find out the values of sine A and cos C, right? So let's understand more here. It's a ratio, right? So let's understand that this is the triangle on which this particular relationship is given here. And this is A, B, and C. And angle B is the right angle triangle, right? Now for tan A, let's assume that the common ratio is X. Then we can say that tan A is equal to x upon x root 3, right? Because x is taken as the common ratio here. Now, we also understand that in trigonometry, tan a is equal to opposite upon adjacent, right? Now, here what we need to do is we need to understand a little bit more that since we are talking about the cos a here, right? We are talking about the cos a here, this one. So that means the opposite is going to be the BC. This particular side is going to be the opposite and the adjacent is going to be AB, right? So therefore we can say that 10 A is equal to opposite upon adjacent and all of that is equal to BC upon AB. Now we have two relationships of 10 A, right? The one is that it says this one, right? wherein we are having the value of tan a and the other is the formula which we have for tan a. And if we compare these two relationships, then we can clearly find out that, you know, the value of BC is equal to X and the value of AB is equal to X root three, right? So that's what we have marked here. And that's how we have got the, you know, uh, the measurements of these two sides right so this is how it is now let's move ahead further and let's see how we you know solve this now when we are moving ahead we need to find out the value of sine a and cos c and for both sine a and cos c we need to have the value of the hypotenuse of the triangle and this is the hypotenuse and we need to find out the value of ac so what we will do is it's very simple. We will apply Pythagoras theorem on triangle ABC and we will find out the value of AC. So let's start with Pythagoras theorem on triangle ABC, right? So when we do that, it clearly says that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square because that's the Pythagoras theorem. And now we will put the values of AB and BC on this, in this particular relationship. And finally, we will find out that AC square is equal to four X square. And when we do, you know, the square root of both the sides, then we get AC is equal to two X. Now that we've got AC is equal to two X, we will quickly have that here on AC. Now we have got the values of all the three sides of the triangle, right? We have got the value of AC, we have got the value of root three, and we also uh, sorry, we have got the value of AB and we also have the value of BC. Now that we've got all of these three guys, we can quickly find out the value of sine A, cos C, cos A and sine C one by one. So let's see how we do this. So the first thing is the value of sine A. 
So sine A is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse, and we know that opposite is going to be BC because uh, you know uh, the angle on which the whole uh, discussion is going on is that is angle A, right? So um, that's this angle, right? So uh, if that is angle A, and we are discussing, we are as you, you know calculating the trigonometrical ratio based on this angle, which is A, then obviously the opposite is going to be this one, right? And hence we can say that it's going to be BC over AC, right? So we can say X over 2X. And finally, what we have is 1 over 2. Now, we have got the value of sine A. Now, let us have the value of sine C also. Now, in sine C, what happens is the a discussion the angle on which is going to be into consideration is going to be this one because we are talking about sine say now what will happen is the opposite opposite will be different you know uh, this time and the opposite is going to be it's not going to be bc like this here the opposite is going to be ab and hence and of hypotenuse will remain same in both the situations because that's remain same in the triangle. So if we put the values of AB and AC, we get X root three over two X and that's equal to under root three over two. So this is how we have got the value of sine C also. Now let's move ahead and we will find out the value of cos A and cos A again, we are back to this, this angle right, uh, wherein we are going to understand the value of cos A. Now cos A is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse. Now that's the relationship uh, which cos A has. And in this case, since we are talking about angle A, so obviously the adjacent is going to be AB and the hypotenuse will remain same and that's going to be AC. Now we'll put the values of AB and AC and finally we'll get these answers. And after this, we have cos C. And finally, we have got the value of cos C also. Now, we have got these values, right? So we have, we are going to make use of these four values and we'll put all of them into this expression. And we will quickly find out the final value of this. So let's do it. So this is how we have the expression here. And now we have put the values. So as we can say that sine A is one over two, right? Sine A is one over two. This is, this is it. Then we have cos C, cos C is one over two. Then we have plus cos A, cos A is this. And then we have sine C and that is this. So we have put all of these four values, right? And finally, we put this and now we are going to simplify it. So when we simplify it, we get it like one over four plus three over four is equal to four over four and one. That's the final answer which we have got. So this is how we have got our final answer, right? So I hope you could understand this question. It was a very simple question and it's just lengthy, nothing else. And I'm sure I'll be coming up with more videos and you are liking them. In case you have any queries or any clarification to be discussed, please feel free to message me or put your queries in, your, in my messenger and I will get back to you with the clarifications. So thank you so much. And till then, keep watching Padai Planet. Thank you. Bye-bye.